What's going on everyone? It is Ethan here with another video where today I'm going to be talking about John Lennon and Yoko Ono's Double Fantasy, one of my favorite albums of all time, one of the best albums of all time. So yeah, in this video I'm basically just going to be showing you guys my Double Fantasy collection, like all my stuff I have, and just talking about this album and why I like this album so much. So this was released in late 1980. This was John Lennon's last album he ever released in his lifetime, which is very unfortunate. But this album is phenomenal. And I'm not just saying just the John songs. I really enjoy the Yoko Ono songs too. You know, a lot of people out there hate Yoko Ono or hate her music and stuff like that. But this is a masterpiece of an album. All the songs on here are good. And yeah, let's just start with just like starting over, which this song was the first single off the album, which was just just a great song. I actually have the seven inch right here. We got just like starting over with the B side being Kiss 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 with Yoko Ono. Really, really great tracks. Um, Kiss 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 especially, that song is um, underrated, but one of Yoko's best songs, I think. Probably her best song on the album. Yeah. But just like starting over, phenomenal single, phenomenal song, you know, it's kind of more like a, like he's going for like an Elvis or types, you know what I'm talking about if you've heard the song. And also on the stripped down version, which, you know, this version is great as well. He actually says like Elvis and some other stuff at the beginning of the song. So yeah, really, really great. And this, this stripped down version, we'll just, we'll talk about this in a second because that's a whole other thing. But yeah, I also have the, uh, I think this is the Japanese, um, just like starting over single, which is really nice. But yeah, just like starting over and Kiss Kiss are just really, really great songs. Kiss 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 probably being Yoko's best song on this album. Yeah, um, next up we got Clean Up Time and Give Me Something, which these two are probably my least favorite on the album, um, they're good songs as I said but you know compared to the rest of the album they're just it's not as good um next up one of my one of my all-time favorites maybe even my favorite off the album I'm losing you just I love this and the version I love the most actually is this version I love the give me some truth version and I cannot wait for the ultimate mix of double fantasy that's going to be phenomenal but yeah i love the um give me some truth version because you know they bring up the vocals and stuff like that i also do love down or uh, love the stripped down version as well and the original version if you haven't heard it you can look it up on youtube but yeah, i'm losing you probably my favorite song on the album just just really really great amazing song um kind of underrated i guess you could say compared to all the other songs on the album, it might get overlooked a little, but yeah, I'm losing you. Great song and amazing transition into the next one. I'm moving on. Like if you listen to those songs back to back, they literally transition into each other and I'm moving on. It's just a, basically a part two to I'm losing you. And yeah, just those two are just really, really great songs together. Next up, Beautiful Boy, Darling Boy. One of the best songs on the album. One of the most popular songs on the album. And as it should be, this song is phenomenal. It's, if you haven't heard it by now, what are you doing? You should go listen to it because it's phenomenal. And I know I'm using phenomenal a lot, but you know, this album is just great. Like, this beautiful boy, the drawing boy, I just love the, just like the instrumental and stuff to this, like just the calming, how calming it is, you know, and the lyrics. The, the lyrics are very, very sad if you think of like, when he wrote this and when he's what he's saying in the song if you it's really sad but it's also really really nice too but it's it's it can it can be emotional sometimes next up we got watching the wheels which this was actually the final single off the album released in i'm pretty sure i want to say march 1981 um correct me if i'm wrong but yeah watching the wheels just a great song, you know, basically just John Lennon telling everyone where he's been. Because, um, you know, he took like a five-year break between this album and the last one. So, you know, basically just telling everyone where he's been and 
how he's doing. And on the B side, we got Yes, I'm Your Angel. Pretty good song. All right, everyone. So the next track, Woman, which Woman was the second single off the album, released in January 1981. Yeah, January 1981. Woman, you know, another one of my favorites off the album. One of the most popular. Just phenomenal song. And another one of my favorite Yoko Ono songs, Beautiful Boys. Just talking about Sean and John. Just a great song. Next up, we got Dear Yoko, which a lot of people compare this to the track on John Lennon's Imagine, Oh Yoko, which I think that song is great. And I also think Dear Yoko is really, really great. I love the instrumental for this one. Just, just the upbeat, happy song. So yeah, next up, we got Every Man Has a Woman Who Loves Him, which on this album, of course, is the Yoko Ono version with John Lennon background vocals, but on stuff like The Ultimate Collection, which I do have here, or not The Ultimate Collection, Give Me Some Truth, The Ultimate Mixes, um, there is his version, which is really, really great as well. Next up, the final track, Hard Times Are Over, which, you know, how you know, how weird that track title is, and, you know, everything that happened after this album, Hard Times Were Surely Not Over, but this track is, it's still good, it's a good way to end the album, I guess. Also, we got a, I'll read you the little note on the back here, it says, with special thanks to all the people, known and unknown, who helped us stay in America without whom this album would not have been made. Love, John and Yoko. So, yeah. That's pretty much all the tracks on Double Fantasy. Overall, in my opinion, phenomenal album. And I'm not even saying it's John Lennon's best album, but it is just just my favorite. Just I love the Yoko and the John tracks. Just they they work so well together and I just I just love them both, you know. So now we're gonna be talking about some of the other stuff that I have. Which of course here I have the CD, the normal version. I'm pretty sure this is the um, well, it is a 1980 pressing. I just don't know exactly what version because there's like a million versions of it or whatever. A million different variants, if you know. Like, if you have Discogs, you'd know. <laughs> Next up, we got two different cassettes. Really, really cool. And the stripped-down version. Some would even say this is superior, and to an, to an extent, I agree, you know, uh, I sometimes I like this version better but then other times I like you know the original mixes but yeah really really I would definitely recommend just buying this CD if you can because you can get the original version and the stripped down version which is really really great so something that's also really cool is that this was drawn by Sean Lennon there's his autograph right there but yeah the back and the front was drawn hand drawn by Sean Lennon himself which is really, really great, in my opinion. But, yeah, we also got some nice pictures in here. And I want to show you the booklet real quick, because it has a lot of nice pictures from this era. Um, got the, a drawing. That's from that one photo shoot. Which I really love that photo shoot. It's one of my favorites. Um... Just John and Yoko, and there's them filming the woman video. There's that other, the, from the same day of the other photo shoot that I was talking about. John and Yoko again. And I really do love that the lyrics are in here. Because, you know, nowadays we don't really get lyric booklets. But yeah, there's the drawing again. But yeah, definitely recommend buying the stripped down version. Lastly, we got the John Lennon collection. This was released in 1982. And it has some songs from just like starting or uh, from Double Fantasy, like just like starting over Woman, I'm Losing You, Beautiful Boy, Dear Yoko, and Watching the Wheels, which the vinyl has, you know, half the tracks are like from Double Fantasy. But if you get the cassette or the CD, they have a lot more like other tracks, too, from his other albums. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for this little video about Double Fantasy. You know, I didn't I don't really. I didn't really have a specific reason on why I wanted to make this, just, you know, I just really like this album, so decided to make a video on it. So yeah, I want to thank you all very much for watching, and you, who knows, maybe next time I'll do Milk and Honey, or just the other John Lennon albums, or just any other album that I like. 
So yeah, I'm gonna thank you all very much for watching and I will see you all later. Goodbye.